says, hey guys, hope you're doing great. Got a very exciting question about images for you. Can you over-optimize images on your money site with keywords and geotagging and stuff like that? And do you geotag the images you use for your citation sites, Google My Business pages, branded networks, etc.? Plus having the site name in the metadata of the images as well. Is that too much? Uh, Mark, not if you're using, like, yes, I um, optimize the metadata of the images. Um, especially for local stuff, then yeah, we'll use like an EXIF uh, data, um, you know, saw editing tool. Like I use GeoSetter. That's something I use. But you can do a lot of that stuff actually on your own, just um, by right-clicking details and checking, pro you know, details and in properties of the the file itself. If it's a JPEG, if it's a PNG, you can't do that stuff. But um, yeah, like I'll add metadata in there and the coordinates as EXIF data, that kind of thing. Um, but what I'll do is I'll use of various keywords instead of just like using the same keyword over and over again. So I'll use, you know, whenever I'm doing, I'll have keyword research done at that point anyways, right? So I'll take a, a handful of my uh, LSI keywords or supporting keywords and just use those across various images. And so, for example, if you've got, you know, you've got the file name itself, which is typically going to be some sort of a keyword. One of the other things I don't recommend doing is always putting the geo modifier in there, like if you're doing local. Like, go with more of the broad, like, topical type keywords now. And it, so it, you, you kind of follow the same, in my opinion, and this is the way I do it, is, as, uh, and I'll let the other guys chime in here in a moment as well, but what I like to do is, um, is kind of follow the same type of, like, anchor text strategy that I would use. So, it, you know, it used to be where we, we would use the exact match keyword across all the images, um, put it in the description, the title of the image. So there's the file name, then there's the title, then there's the tags, the description. Um, then you can have like the author URL, the, um, uh, you know, per, I can't remember all of them without without actually opening it up, but I would put, you know, the exact match keyword in there or one of my exact match keywords with the geo modifier. So like if I was targeting five main keywords, I would use those five main keywords with the geo modifiers across the various fields of the images. I don't do that now because it's almost like over optimizing anchor text profile of inbound links. So instead what I'll do is maybe the the file name itself or the you are the um either the file name or the title will be an exact match keyword but then all of the other metadata details that I add will be broader um keywords. They might be related keywords but they don't typically have the geo modifier especially if I'm adding the um geo co the coordinates uh as as exif data, right? So um, if I'm doing, if I'm adding the coordinates, then I don't think it's necessary to add like the city name, for example, across all the keywords. One other thing I like to do is in the comments section of the metadata, I like to put the NAP of the site itself, so or of the of the business itself. And that's again, I'm talking about local guys. But if you're doing, because um, he mentioned Google My Business pages, um, but you can do the same thing with you know non-local stuff by still optimizing the images. To, to further, uh, to answer the rest of the question, um, do, do I use the images for citation sites? Yes, and here's why. Because typically the images that I'm going to add to the Google My Business pages are going to be from the website anyways, so they're already been geotagged and optimized. And then what I'll do is I'll use the same images from the Google My Business pages across my other citation sites. So, uh, yes, they will already be tagged. Okay? Um, as far as like images within blog posts now, typically I don't do that within the blog post because I have my VAs that are doing the blogging, and so I don't, I don't, I, I haven't trained them to do that with like blog posting, so those don't really get syndicated out across the networks. I assume that that would help too, uh, but it, you know, again, I think that's just a little bit overkill. I do the images for the pages themselves, I optimize those, but when it comes to blogging, I typically do not. You want to add to that, Hernan, or, or anybody else? Yeah, I yeah no, I, I use pretty much the same process that you use, uh, Bradley. What's good about it is that you could actually get um, your your images ranking on Google Images. You know, so if you have a call to action on your image, you can turn that into another asset. So I think that's that's pretty interesting. You could also get, uh, you know, that's that's a way of. I think that. Google images searches or you know image recognition engine right now it's intelligent enough to see similarities between images you know it's not like you can actually fool Google um, because if you search by images you know and you search for a face it will come back with the same faces you know with or with that image where whatever it is 
online in Google's database. So I don't think you can fully, but you can add some extra um, information to that image as well. So I, I pretty much use the same process as you're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that absolutely helps. I mean, again, I, I, I do that for, for pages on the site, uh, for images that go on pages, and then I'll end up using those images as part of my um, images for the Google My Business page as well as for other citation sites. And that's right. typically all I will do is uh, the blogging I do not. It probably would help, but I think at some point it would be overkill, and it's just additional time. There's like a, you know, what is it, the law of diminishing returns? So, and at some point you're going to run out of keywords anyways. <laughs> so...